What's good, it's your boy Jerome from JeromeWillerFitness.com. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the things that you can actually do to help alleviate depression. All right, let's get to the video. Now, I know this is something a lot of people don't want to talk about. Nobody really wants to talk about depression. It's such a taboo topic, like why are you depressed? You're alive. Listen, a lot of people are suffering with depression. I've been depressed in the past and you know, I've actually been impressed upon to make this video because of a lot of the people I've been doing consultations with and I've been speaking with have been telling me they're dealing with depression. It's a real thing. It's causing a lot of people from uh, being unable to walk in their destiny, walk in their purpose, and some people even going to the point of wanting to commit suicide. So this is a serious thing. So I'm gonna give you guys some stuff that you can do to help with it. Um, and you could obviously send this to a friend if you know somebody that's dealing with it as well, okay? So the first thing is you need to monitor your thought life, okay? I know this is gonna be a tough pill to swallow, but generally speaking, and I know there's always exceptions to the rule. Don't get me wrong. But depression usually starts from your thought life. Okay, and I'm gonna to explain to you why that is. Because our thoughts are actually what creates our feelings, right? And I can prove that to so you. Think about something as, 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 uh, as, as subtle as this. Somebody might be very attractive to another person. And because they think that person is attractive, it creates certain feelings, certain emotions, like, oh, I'm drawn to that person, right? Another person may find that same exact person not attractive. You know, you ever, you ever heard somebody say, they do nothing for me, <laughs> right? That's because that person isn't creating the same feelings because how you think about them, it's not the same as that person that may have felt something and got attracted, right? So in our lives, it's not about what happens to us that causes depression in and of itself. It's how we think about what happens that causes the depression, all right? And what ends up happening is a lot of times is because our feelings are like the language of the subconscious, what ends up happening is when we get these signals from our subconscious from different thought, or sorry, from different feelings and sensations throughout the day, if they're negative sensations, they're gonna cause you to think in a negative way. And now you're repeating this pattern. And guess what? Our thinking and feeling leads to our actions. So now you're more, you're more likely to do things that keep you in a worse state. Maybe you don't exercise, you don't work on that business, um, you don't eat healthy, you go to junk food to feel better. These are the things that create the cycle and you're at this point where you're like, woe is me, you're, you're not even aware of what's been happening, but you've been just caught up in this vicious cycle. So what I would recommend, I wanna give you tangible, a tangible strategy that can help you monitor your thoughts. So pull out your smartphone right now. Go to the calendar app, all right, it's free. And every hour, set a notification to um, analyze the thinking from the last hour. So let's say you set your notification, let's say it's 10 a.m., you're up and at them, you're doing your thing, you would set an alarm for 11, a notification, 11 a.m., and you're gonna acknowledge, analyze what you thought about from 10 to 11, and write, write it down. Are you thinking about how, you know, it's a bad hair day? Are you thinking about um, the fact that you gotta pay your bills, you don't know if there's gonna be money or, uh, left at the end of your paycheck, because it's going towards A, B, and C, or are you thinking about your spouse, are you thinking about your weight, are, like, what are you thinking about? Because the way the human anatomy is set up, negative thoughts were not made to be in this brain. The brain functions off of positive thoughts at an optimal level. When you think negative thoughts, you're actually creating a lot of decay and a lot of confusion in the brain. Like you're actually tangling up neurons together when you think negatively. Versus when you think positively, you're creating these majestic, neurons that can just straight up flourish, all right? So monitor your thoughts. And I mean, if they're all positive and you're still depressed, okay, you know, I'll give it to you. You're the anomaly. You're the exception to the rule that I mentioned earlier. But if there's some negative thinking and there's a pattern of that all day, then we gotta re-change how you think, 
all right that's the first step all right and i mean if you want to send me a dm because i could go deeper on just this topic or this one strategy alone so you know send me a dm uh, hit me up wherever you're, you're watching this reach out to me and i'll give you some other strategies that you can do because i've had to do this for myself all right i have to do these things for myself to really recondition my mind out of you know the negative thought patterns that i've had in the past um second thing is cold showers so the reason i put monitoring your thoughts first is because this is where it generally stems from now thoughts create feelings but there are things we can do so everything from step two onward are things that you can do to change your feelings so when you feel like you're in a good state now you can make a decision to start thinking differently right because it's harder to it's hard to think positive when you feel like crap but if you can do things to raise your state take advantage of the new state change start thinking positively recondition recondition now i'm not saying you're not going to start feeling bad again later you probably will right but at least you have strategies to keep raising your state changing your thoughts raising your state changing your thoughts raising your state changing your thoughts and then you become a whole new person all right so cold showers are good i don't know if you know vincent van gogh you know starry starry night starry star you know the dude that like cut his ear off yeah i mean he probably was depressed <laughs> i don't know who's gonna go to those type of lengths but he did so cold showers really helped him um now there's supplements you could take. 5-HTP is really good, uh, or tryptophan, because tryptophan converts into serotonin, or sorry, tryptophan converts into 5-HTP, which converts into serotonin. Now, you could also take 5-HTP, which is, might be a little better, because 5-HTP directly converts into serotonin in the brain. All right, so this is powerful, because you're gonna be feeling good when you take something like this, right? And a lot of people that take like anxiety medication and stuff like that, they can't take 5-HTP because 5-HTP helps with anxiety, right? So I would advise you, you know, if you're taking medication right now, talk to your doctor, ask them about 5-HTP and if, you, if they recommend you taking that instead of the drugs that you're taking. Um, but yeah, 5-HTP is super powerful, make you feel good and then you can start again thinking differently, all right, because you feel better. Uh, L-tyrosine, that's another one. So a lot of people that suffer with depression, they don't have motivation, all right? They're not motivated to do anything but the bare minimum. Go to work, go to sleep. Go to work, go to sleep. Go to work, go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to work. Go to work, go to sleep. It's, that's the cycle, right? You might want to lose weight. You might want to get fit. You might want to go out in the dating scene. But if you're depressed, there's no, mm, there's no get up and go. There's no let's make it happen, right? So taking L-tyrosine actually converts into dopamine in the brain. And dopamine is, you could say, the neurotransmitter that gives you motivation. It's that get up and go neurotransmitter. So when you take that, you're gonna feel more motivated to actually do things in line with your new thinking. Now going back to the thoughts, when you start thinking differently about life, thinking about your desires, thinking about your aspirations, thinking about who you want to become. Now, you take something like L-tyrosine, raising your dopamine levels, you can actually carry these things out, right? And these are things that are gonna reshape your character so you're no longer a person that deals with depression because you, you change. Everything, everything is ego-based, right? Ego is just like a fossilized, holding pattern within the body that needs to be stripped away because when you strip it away everything just changes all right i know that's a little bit deep but <laughs> if you want me to go in depth on that alone let me know i got you all right uh, the last thing i'm going to say here is taking green leafy vegetables because they're high in magnesium which relaxes you um, you also get gaba increased gaba production in the brain when you take green leafy vegetables uh, which also keeps you relaxed all right that's why uh, people go out for happy hour to get the little wine you get a little wine glasses all right because of the gaba that you get you feel good all right so these are some things that you can do to help alleviate depression i may make another i might make another video on this because i know this is an, an important topic all right i want to give you all as much strategies as possible to help with this you know we only have one shot in life and i mean there's a reason why people that are depressed say what's the point of living because if you feel depressed, it's like what the, you're wasting your life. I don't want that for you, all right? 
So if you are struggling with depression, know someone that's struggling with depression, please share this video to them. Um, you know, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, all right? So we can spread the message of good health and fitness, all right? Peace.